when uh, we were doing season five, I kept thinking, and it's a very bizarre thing, but I kept thinking to myself that I knew that season six, I shouldn't say that, but I'm going to say it, season six was going to be the best season ever. And I don't know why I'm saying that, because I have good instincts, that's why. And my instincts say that season six is going to be the best ever. Um, dancers, characters, stars, choreography, I think everything. So I'm excited about it. And then today kind of confirmed, for me anyways, that there are some, some serious talent here today. How it all comes together, it's a, it's a phenomena, <laughs> actually. Um, I don't plan anything, usually, until the night before. Um, I find out who I get on Thursday night from the results show, and I figure out their strengths and I figure out their weaknesses and then I plan my attack and I have like certain music that's cleared and different concepts and I kind of just match what feels right and then I go into the studio the next morning and I create the work a couple hours before I put it on them that day. I know it's weird because a lot of people don't, they, they choreograph it like months in advance or they, you know what I mean, They're, everything is prepared but I'm very much last minute. Um, I feel like it works for me. I found my, I found my flow on the show, knowing that I don't have a lot of time, and I, I just kind of, I just know. It's, it's like after five seasons, I better know how to do it. So I'm getting better at it. <laughs> it's a magical thing that happens because it's a combination between the dancers you're given, the music you choose, the style, the concept. It just, it you can't plan if it's going to be great. You just cross your fingers and you hope that it's all gonna click and come together. Um, but for me, because it is such a natural thing for me, because I've been doing it for so long, since I was like eight or nine years old, I started choreographing. So I've learned how, my, I know what my craft is and I know how to put a dance together. Um, and so I trust that and I trust my instincts. That's my key thing is my instincts. So as I'm creating it and I see what, how the picture is coming out and the whole, is it honest? Is it truthful? Um, is it human? I try to really stay true to the humanness of everything I do. We need to be in it and get it done and deliver. We have to deliver <laughs> every single week. And uh, that really, it, it's, it proves the boys from the men, I think, as choreographers, for sure. Because you can get a choreographer on the show that can deliver an amazing piece, but can they deliver it every single week? and different and unique and always moving and growing and, and I, I think that's it's a hard task and, and I love the challenge because it pushes me to be the best artist I can be. It's about doing the work and doing good work and if they want to go on this journey with me, I mean I drag them kicking and screaming sometimes because they don't want to be vulnerable, they don't want to let go. Um, and other times they know what they're going to be in for and they know that they have to come in with an open heart and have to work their asses off and they do. It's very exciting. This will, what, three nominations and one win and hopefully a second win this year. That would be amazing. Um, it's awesome to be um, acknowledged, you know. I was in a little bit of a lull when the nominations came out around that time. And so that is just such a pick-me-up because it just makes you go, all the work you do, your people, they, they're, accepting it, they're loving it, you know, and that makes an artist happy, you know, it really does, even though we do it for our craft and for who we are and we love what we do, but at the end of the day, you still want to be loved. Everybody wants to be loved and accepted, so it's awesome to know that my work is being accepted and loved, so that's awesome.